Hey guys, what's up? It's Lisa. Welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be a pregnancy update. I am way behind on these. I told you guys that I would try to do these like every like month or two. So it's been two months since my last, or I guess eight weeks since my last pregnancy update. So I figured I'd come on here and share with you all that I've been experiencing since week 25. Um, so this will be weeks 25 through 32. I will be 32 weeks pregnant tomorrow, which is crazy <laughs> because that means that I am just so, so, so close to meeting baby girl Valerie. Um, it just feels like time is going by so fast. It's funny because people had kept telling us about how the last trimester goes by so slow and how, you know, you're just anticipating her arrival. But I feel like this trimester has been probably the fastest one out of all three. And I felt like all three pretty much are going by super fast. But this one in particular, I feel like has gone by like really 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 fast so the fact that i'm already at 32 weeks is crazy because that means that we pretty much only have like eight weeks if not less time for her to be here um i low-key kind of want for her to be here a little bit early because um just because for one i really want to meet her and also to be there whenever cortez graduates from his phd program so i low-key want for her to come a little bit early not like super early but like a week early <laughs> so i'm kind of hoping she cooperates and kind of wants to come out a little bit earlier than expected but of course if not if she wants to wait the entire 40 weeks you guys know I'm, I'm i don't care i'm all for it like as long as she's born healthy and there's no complications that is all that i care about yeah let's go ahead and get right into it um there hasn't been a whole whole lot going on these past eight weeks it's been pretty like your typical third trimester um for one the obvious one has been my lack of energy lately um if you guys can't tell i'm trying to be as energized as possible but it's hard because whenever i do like a lot throughout the day um i just get tired really easily especially with like this big belly now like i get tired super fast my feet start hurting like super fast my feet start swelling up and i just get tired and it's just all real place. So definitely a lack of energy has taken over. Um, it kind of comes and goes to like, there will be certain days whenever I am feeling more energetic than other days, but overall, um, <laughs> my energy level is definitely not as high as it was like the first trimester or of course pre-pregnancy. Back pain of course comes and goes. Um, it doesn't happen like 24 seven, but it does happen like every few days or so. I'll be fine throughout the day. And then all of a sudden I'll just get like this really bad discomforting back pain that I cannot get rid of. Um, a couple of days ago actually I had this really intense back pain um, and I tried everything. I had Cortez massage that area and like it, it would not go away for a while. And then of course like a few hours later it was gone. So it definitely comes and goes but of course comes to the territory um, of course because you have all this weight up here your back you know is just off balance so um yeah back pain is definitely real but um i'm just kind of learning to go with the flow and deal with it whenever i do have really bad back pain i'll just lay down or do or try to lay down because laying down was pretty much like doesn't really help <laughs> these days but i'll try to lay down i'll try to use like an ice pack or something or a heating pad or just something to kind of calm that area down and um just get me back to feeling normal. I have noticed that I haven't really had much of an appetite as big as it was like my first and second trimester. Um, prior to this trimester, I feel like I was eating like a whole lot, <laughs> but I think that now because she's so much bigger, my belly can only hold so much. I feel like my appetite these days is like not really as big. It's still like a normal appetite, but it's just not as big and as grand as it was uh, trimesters one and two. I feel like I was eating like <laughs> a ton. But I feel like now I really can't eat that much because of the fact that my stomach gets full so fast. So, so one thing I have tried to incorporate recently is taking daily walks. So you guys know it has been cold outside, of course, because it has been winter. But whenever it has been a warm day um, for the past like couple of months, specifically the past two months, um, I have tried to make an effort to take a daily walk with Cortez and my dog Leia <laughs> whenever it's warm outside. So. Fortunately, it should be like consistently warm starting about like next week, hopefully, whenever it hits spring. Um, so then I'll be doing daily walks every day. But since it has been quarter outside, I have been trying to just take a daily walk um, whenever it has been warmer. 
and that has helped a lot because I feel like I get you know more blood flowing I get more you know energy that way and it helps me kind of like relieve all the tension in, in my you know my back and my my legs and things like that so I've been definitely been trying to incorporate daily walks um I'm not sure if you guys know but prior to getting pregnant I was like super active as far as like working out eating healthy I was super fit and I just like worked out pretty much like six days a week like non-stop and then of course I hit a point in my pregnancy whenever I stopped working out because I just got out of breath really fast everything just felt sore like I just wasn't really feeling it but I've been trying to kind of slowly get back into the groove of working out because um or at least being active because for me I really want for the transition between you know having Val and getting back into the working out I want for it to be as smooth as possible so I've been trying to incorporate walks and trying to incorporate like some squats here and there and things like that because not only will it help with transitioning into actually working out again once she's born but it also help with you know labor and delivery I have started to get stretch marks you guys yes I have gotten stretch marks. Trust me, I have tried everything. I've tried drinking tons of water, all kinds of moisturizers, all kinds of oils. It's just hereditary and I just cannot help it. So I think that it just came with the territory. I knew it was gonna come regardless because I have stretch marks in like other weird areas anyway. So I knew it was gonna happen eventually. And because I'm actually small, there was no way I was gonna like go through an entire pregnancy and carry her without getting stretch marks in that certain area. And the way she's positioned, it's like literally like in the middle of my belly, like and she does not really move that much besides directly in the middle of my belly. Because of how much pressure she is putting in that area, there is no way I could avoid getting stretch marks. Like I tell y'all, she literally sits directly in the middle of my belly, <laughs> like and that's it. Fortunately, my stretch marks as of now, cross my fingers, are not very visible. Um, they're just kind of like light. I'm praying that whenever I have her, I did read that um, they kind of fade away, or at least fade away a little bit once the baby is born. But I have just learned overall to not really stress about them anymore because they're there, it happened. I'm growing a human, I'm growing a healthy baby, and that's all that really matters. So I've kind of learned to like not really think about them that much. Even though it has been hard, the journey to not care about the stretch marks has been very hard, I will say that much. But I've learned to kind of just let it go, don't worry about it, and just let nature take its course. I have not yet felt the Braxton Hicks. I honestly have no idea what they should feel like or what they are supposed to feel like. I have no idea, but I'm pretty sure I have not felt them. <laughs> I've heard that it's just your belly tightening up, I suppose. I have no idea, you guys. I'm pretty sure I have yet to feel the Braxton Hicks, so if they do come, I'll let you guys know, but as of now, they have not come. I kind of want to feel them a little bit. Like, I kind of want to see what these um, test contractions are. I really have no idea what to expect for regular contractions. So I kind of want to see how the regular Braxton Hicks feels. I know it's not the real thing because I know the real thing is actually painful and Braxton Hicks really aren't that painful. <laughs> but um, yeah, I kind of want to see how and just test it out and see how exactly, um, I guess how exactly it would feel or at least the tightening part or the cramping part. I want to see how it feels. So maybe they'll come. I don't know. We'll see. So one of the big things that happened during this past two months has been the glucose test. So of course the dreaded glucose test. So I took the um, one hour glucose test, I believe at week 28. I took the one hour glucose test at week 28 and your girl failed the test. I didn't fill it by much, but I did fill the glucose test, the one hour one. So of course I had to go back at week 30 and take the three hour one, which I will say sucked a lot. Um, I just did not enjoy sitting at the doctor's office for, was it four hours? For pretty much four hours, getting your blood drawn every hour and it was just terrible. The drink was terrible, just the whole thing was terrible. <laughs> but thankfully, thank God, I passed the test. Overall, you guys, health-wise, I'm doing great and Val is doing great as well. Um, she is, of course, growing. Her heartbeat is still super strong. They will be checking soon to see how much she weighs exactly and also her position to see if she has dropped it all. Um, but yeah, overall, you guys, she is doing wonderful. She is kicking like crazy these days. And of course, because my stomach is much fuller with all of her weight, I feel her kicks pretty much nonstop, her movements nonstop. So it has been a great experience, minus the rib kicks, because I'm not really feeling those. Um, but overall, feeling her movements and just, just 
just seeing her grow, like it's been an exciting experience. My husband and I were just talking earlier about how big she has gotten since like August. It's been crazy how big she has gotten over the day or over time. She has gotten so big, but it has been so exciting to see her just grow and get bigger. And we cannot wait to see her face and just to see who she looks like <laughs> and what her personality is like and what kind of baby she'll be. I just, y'all, I cannot wait. I'm like so, so, so excited. An exciting thing, you guys, has been that we actually were slow playing. I'll be real, we have been slow playing, but we did actually get her, put her crib together yesterday. Well, Cortez put it together. I just sat there and directed. <laughs> um, but we put her crib together yesterday, so it is like in her room. We cleared out her room finally. We got her crib up and you know together. So next thing is to put up her dresser and like get at least the basics together before she gets here. I'm not sure if I have the whole room together before she gets here, but I want to at least have like the basics, like a crib, a rocking chair, a dresser, all that good stuff I want to have at least together before she's here. So that way we're at least a little bit prepared um, for her arrival. I don't want to stress too much about getting the actual nursery like fully decorated and you know all together because we have time. She won't be in there for a while. So. Before I end the pregnancy update, I definitely want to go ahead and share with you all my baby bump. So here you guys go. So that's pretty much what has been going on between weeks 25 to 32. It is crazy you guys to know that I have gotten this far and I'm so close to being done. I can feel it. Like I can genuinely feel myself not being pregnant anymore and her actually being here. So I'm so excited about it. Um, and just the idea of just her actually being in our presence and just loving on her and caring for her is gonna be an exciting thing. So we're so much closer, um, not much, much longer left. So um, I'll continue to pray for us <laughs> and pray that we have a healthy delivery and a healthy baby. Of course, I'll come back here and do at least one more pregnancy update for you guys before she is here. So stay tuned for that. But if you guys want more like real time everyday updates, go ahead and check out my blog channel, The Williams Way. That's where I post everything baby related. So go ahead and check that channel out. It's The Williams Way on YouTube. I will of course link it down below as well. And I pretty much tell you guys like what's going on every single day. <laughs> so I um, hope y'all enjoyed today's pregnancy update. And until next time, I will see you all later. Bye guys.